Welcome everyone, this is Awesome Sauce, bringing you a new LP today. I thought I'd follow suit with uh, Sweet Victory and do two, and I think you can guess by the background what this one is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Yeah! I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so uh, today we're going to be playing the Hyperstone Heist on Sega. Uh, as many of you know, Hyperstone Heist is basically the same game as... Uh, Let's just get it started here. Uh, it's basically the same game, and let's see, let's see here. Uh, they're gonna kick shell in the auction section. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's normal's good enough, I suppose. I'm, I'm not that great, so we're just gonna go with normal. Um, if I need to, I may switch down to easy later, but uh, you know me. Anyway, okay. As many of you may know, the Hyperstone Heist is basically a carbon copy of Turtles in Time. It's rearranged a little bit, and the music's different, but uh, I still think it's fun. I think the graphics are better, and uh, the gameplay's a bit better, so I chose to play this one. Alright, right now I am wearing my uh, Leonardo t-shirt. You aren't able to see that, but uh, Leo was always my favorite, so we're going to pick him. Alright, uh, evening news with April O'Neil. This is April O'Neil, and holy crap, the city's disappearing. Oh my god! Right now, that says right now, actually. You know, in Japan, this game is called The Return of Shredder. Um, and to be honest, oh, and he, he made the city into a miniature, and he's very muscular. I have the treasured hyperstone from Dimension X, and it's only a matter of time before I conquer the world. Turtles, I dare you to challenge me. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Shredder, what's going on? He won't let you get away with that. We, we won't let you get away with that. Okay, they're going to find them with their, their high energy detector. Alright, scene one, New York City. The cool thing about this game is that none of the levels uh, are any kind of, you know, like, discernible order. They don't make sense together. Um... Turtles in Time makes sense because they're traveling through time. This game really doesn't. Like you're on a, you're in the sewers and then, you know, then you're somewhere else. It's, it's, you'll, you'll see. This level's the only one that makes sense because you know you always begin in the sewers as a Ninja Turtle. Raw. I love beat 'em ups. They're so much fun. There's a pretty preset set of moves here. You just keep on pressing and you can do combos. You can, um, you can run with the C button and uh, run into people and you have like kicks and stuff. If you're close enough, you can grab, but I'm not really sure how to do it. And if you do uh, uh, B and A together, you do your special attack, but that takes away your energy. So, be careful. I don't use it, uh, usually. I just did it to show you guys. And you can blow stuff up, but I I didn't use it. Oh yeah, and pizza replenishes your health. I hate these guys. Ugh. If they catch you with that stuff, like it'll give you an electric shock. It's a pain in the butt. But, you know, I, I can actually avoid them most of the time. Just depends. Ah, uh, shuriken! Wait, what are the ethical implications of killing these guys? Wait, they're robots? Well, let's boogaloo! Yeah, I know, that's my best impression of Mikey in that first episode. I don't know if any of you are Ninja Turtles fans, but... Yeah, in the cartoon, the Foot Clan were robots, so the turtles were allowed to kill them. <laughs> They are non-lethal turtles, unless they, and of course they all carry, you know, really lethal weapons, which I never understood that, you know. I'd make a Mel Gibson joke here, but I'm not really sure how to work it in. Oh, try to stab me? Not today! Not today. Yeah, anyway. More pizza! Pizza time! Pizza replenishes your health. I wish it were like that in real life. Get hurt, just eat some pizza. It'd be freaking awesome. Uh. No! Uh, kick you in the face! Oh, damn, damn. What? What? Bam, son! Sorry about the feedback in my microphone. Um, anytime my face moves, the uh, little microphone dongle um, jiggles. And it kind of messes things up. So, it's a pain in the butt. Thinking about getting a new mic for my computer. I, uh, I need a cord at least. Alright, all right, watch this. Bam! What? cool thing about this game, there's a lot of interactive features, I just, I freaking love it. And the music is amazing, and as you can hear, the, um, 
uh, uh, most of the tracks in this game use this orchestra hit sound uh, sound effect. Like, Konami was so fond of that. They used it in a crap ton of their games. One of my favorites being uh, Lethal Enforcer. Um, but there are so many orchestra hits in all of their music. They, they must have used the same composer a lot, but whoever did it needs to get back into games. Because they did a remake of this game. Actually, it was a remake of Turtles in Time. It's called uh, Turtles in Time Reshelled for the uh, PlayStation Network. It's fun, but, like, it just lacks that flair, because, one, they use the voice actors from the newer cartoon. I never know whether it's that car or the next one. Oh, well. Anyway, they use the voice actors from, uh, from the newer cartoon, who I think lack a certain something. Um, maybe it's just because I'm a 90s kid, you know? But, uh... Not only that, they replaced all the music, and the newer music is not good at all. Yeah, like how I timed that with my hits. Oh, crap. That's not a cave. That's a sewer. Come on, Leo. Just to show you, like, I'm a huge Ninja Turtles nerd. Just to show you how much of a Ninja Turtles nerd I am. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> yeah, what? I always get hit by that thing. There will be situations where, like that where they put a pizza to trick you. Um, okay, don't get that just yet. Wait for these guys to come out and then get it. Pizza power! Yes! Anyway. It makes it more useful if you get it, if you wait to get it. Anyway, um, just to show you how much of a Ninja Turtles nerd I am, um, I will sing you, um, hey, yeah, you can deflect that, by the way. I will sing you, or rather rap you, the, uh, Ninja Rap from Ninja Turtles 2 by Vanilla Ice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rap for you the first verse. Okay. Yo! It's the green machine, gotta rock the town without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? Slam it and jam it to the new swing sound, yeah. Everybody, let's move. Vanilla is back with a new jack group, gonna rock and roll the place with the power of the Ninja Turtle base. Iceman, you know I'm not playing. Devastate the show while the turtles are saying Ninja, Ninja, rap, Ninja, Ninja, rap, Ninja, Ninja, rap. Go, 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 Ninja, go, Ninja, go, go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go, go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. Go, 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 go! Yeah, I, like I said, I'm a giant freaking nerd. I didn't even practice that, guys, okay? I didn't look at anything before I did the video. I have it on my iPod, and I listened to it so much at one point that I memorized at least the first verse. It's hard for me to tell what order the other verses go in, so I can't sing them, like, right offhand. You yeah, more pizza! Oh, crap, it's the dudes from Aliens. Okay. Um, just kick these guys, otherwise they're gonna, you know, get out of their path, or, yeah, see, they, they, they own your face. Look, it's those, it's those aliens from the movie Alien, with that man-looking actress. I don't know what I'm talking about. She was in, uh, she was in Avatar, and she looks like a dude. It's not Jamie Lee Curtis, either. Oh, no, it's Sigourney Weaver. She doesn't look like a dude most of the time, but... She's kind of a babe when she doesn't have her ha shed haved. <laughs> when she doesn't have her head shaved. Shed haved? I can't... I, I can English... I can English real good. Get away from me with those shuriken. I'll kick you in your face. Alright, and... Uh, head? Okay. And there's a giant sewer croc. That totally makes sense. You're too immature to hang with me. Oh yeah? Too immature? How about I just kill you? Yeah. Call me immature. I slice you and just jump over his knives. Give him, you know, oh crap. I thought I was out of his way. Anyway, one, two, three, four, jump out of the way, and then just let him throw knives and jump out of the way of his knives. It's really, it's literally that easy. It's, as a kid, I died so many times on this because I just, I didn't know how to do it, you know? I would just try to attack him constantly, and that's what I did with beat-em-ups when I was a little kid, is I would just, I would just attack tirelessly and not, you know, pay any attention to the fact that maybe there would be some strategy involved, um, because I was dumb. Actually, the first time I played this game, not the first time, um, I, let's see, I played it on an emulator when I was a real, uh, when I was, um, a teenager. And let's do the hula dance! I've been beaten and now I'm dancing! Oh, no, well, just one Teenage Turtle, actually. You dipshit. Yeah. Seen one clear. 
Cowabunga, dude! And uh, before scene two starts, we're gonna stop. Mysterious ghost ship. Ooh, teaser. I'm on a surfboard. All right, anybody. Anyway, uh, I'm out of time here, guys. Um, I'll finish that story next time. Um, be sure to stay tuned for episode two of Hyperstone Heist. Uh, stay tuned for the final episode of Gunstar Heroes and the blind LP I'm going to be starting with, Sweet Victory. Uh, we'll, bo we'll both be doing a blind LP together. Um, also, uh, keep an eye on his LP of Kirby's Superstar. Uh, that game is awesome, and he's good at it, and he's just, I mean, he's tearing it up. So, um, anyway, keep an eye out for those things. It was awesome to see you guys. Later!